Hello, this is Landon, and we're playing some Mind Stream. It's pretty fun. It's like Diet Factorio, right? I like the simplicity of the conveyor belts, but you can do a lot. So let's get right into it. So this is a graphite press, and you make graphite with it. I don't really know what you do with graphite, but I'm, I'm new to this, but I'm trying to aim for some efficiency and some cool compact designs. I that's just what I like to do in this game is design stuff so um, we have my first attempt here which wasn't very good and then I started small with a mm, 3 by 2 I'm just gonna call it a 3 by 2 because three presses and two two columns and this is pretty simple. I would go with this if I didn't have lead, I think. You still need lead for this, but still. Um, the way it works is you sort out uh, the graphite with coal. So you use coal. When the coal goes in and graphite comes back, it's going to leave. Very, very complicated when you start getting into more complex scenarios but that's how that works then he we have 10 ores or uh, 10 10 coal in use at all times so there's that and it's not bogged up same thing for this one 10 10 10 10 10 10 and this one's a little bit different um it doesn't have to be different, but it's just another way that I figured out how to get this to essentially do this, but on one, um, on one belt. So if you look at this, go like that. I think this stops whenever this tries to pull out or something. I don't know. Anyway, this was somehow better. You could also provide more than one input. It doesn't increase anything by any means, but it'll it'll do that, and then it stops the other one. Eh. Wonder if yeah, it doesn't do anything. Okay. And then we have this. It's a five by two, and I came up with this one purely on accident. It takes two inputs and creates one output. The reason why this is outputting the way it is is because if this bogs up, it's going to necessarily need another output, but um, you can split the output this way. But it's one output, one, one belt essentially going down the center and it's unaffected by the adjacent belts. So that's cool and it's a five by two it has pretty much topped up um coal except for this one the corner see it's very difficult to take one line through here and provide 10 inputs but more often than not you're gonna have at least nine fully functioning um, graphite presses. So I'll explain how this one works. It's a little bit tricky. Ignore all this fancy stuff. Um, I don't. We don't even use this. It was just there because I was doing something with it, but now I'm not. So we take that out, and now we have this. All right. So the way this works is you have coal. Now essentially, all it's doing is it's going up here. And then it hits this sorter. And then because this is graphite, it's going to make it go right. Because it can't go straight, so it has to go right. And then once it hits this one, it has to go either up or down because it's facing this way. So if it's facing this direction, this is graphite, it won't go that way. It ends up going this way. Well, or the other way one of these two directions 
and so it goes up over then it has to pick up or down because it can't go straight so it goes up since this is an output that it can't go to so it goes up hits this and then goes up again and then it just waits um, the way filters or route, routers work is it carries an object through until it has an open space or it chooses it's random but when it goes up it'll go to this filter and then this filter makes it go back like that however they don't reach all the way back obviously because if this one's struggling to find coal it's not going all the way through it's just a throughput issue um the only way to fix that is to add a belt to the other side but i don't know if that would mess up the output so we're not gonna worry about that um and it is a bit tricky the fact that this works compared to everything else it's pretty mind-boggling. There's another setup that does work, but I forgot how to do it. I recorded it, but I'm not going to look at it. It's an eight-hour long video, and I don't remember all the details, so I'm not going to look through that unless it's detrimental, and it's way more clunky than this. So anyway, um, that's how this setup works, and as you can see, it's hovering around two, three, maybe five, or no coal on this one, but that's okay. We're pretty much maximizing the possible output for the uh, graphite anyway. This much graphite coming in is a lot of graphite. So if you can manufacture coal, which I think you can, then this would be a setup that you would probably want because this will be a part of your main belt. And then your input coal would be whatever factory you have. And if we can make a compact factory for the setup, that'll be a pretty cool video. I think that's it. Um, I spent a lot of time figuring out how to do this, but I don't I don't know if I need this or not. But it's still still pretty good. So Sixty every ten seconds. Let's get a calculator. Yeah, it's about six a second. All right, so I think that's it for this video. I'll post more whenever I make a creation that I think is worthy of having a video. And if you guys have any suggestions, please leave a comment, and I will check it out. So thanks for watching and tune in next time. Can't wait to make new content.